It was a lot harder than most people probably expected, but the Cavaliers survived for a 99-91 victory in Game 2 against Boston to take a 2-0 series lead. Hi, my name is Jason Lloyd, Cavaliers beat writer for the Akron Beacon Journal and Ohio.com. Joined with Marla Ridenauer, columnist for the Beacon and Ohio.com. Marla, this series obviously is going a little bit more difficult than I think a lot of people gave them credit for, gave Boston credit for. Just, I, I guess your initial impressions following Game 2. I really thought the um, the Celtics had a great plan. I guess I was they they went into the game trying to improve their rebounding, and I was stunned at how well they that uh, second chance points in the first half kept them in the game. I really I do think that they found a way to win. They just didn't make enough shots. Yeah, Brad Stevens after the game seemed fairly encouraged about a lot of things. He was unhappy with uh, the third quarter play. The Cavs really ran out on him in the third quarter again, and and. It's those big plays like the big lob dunk that we saw, the half-court dunk. It really got the crowd energized, uh, got a lot of people involved. <clears throat> uh, the, the, I guess the thing that st struck me so far is it looks at this point like Ky the Cavs are going to go as far as Kyrie and LeBron take them. And, you know, series can change drastically with one game. But right now the Cavs aren't getting anything out of J.R. Smith. Uh, Kevin Love fell into foul trouble tonight early. He really struggled on the offensive end tonight. <clears throat> who, <clears throat> who is the guy – in your opinion, that, that has to join these two? Because uh, right now, I mean, 56 points, all 24 points in the fourth quarter, 56 combined between the two. Right now, it's the Kyrie and LeBron show. If I'm going to have to guess for a third, I'd probably say Mozgov. I, I do think he, you know, he missed some dunks, but, I mean, he could have had a monstrous game if he'd made some of those easy slams, especially in the first half. And he didn't seem to be backing down. I mean, the Celtics were fearless and aggressive, but he didn't seem to be backing down. I'd say he'd be my guess for the maybe the third wheel at this point. Yeah, five blocks tonight from Timo. I thought he was great defensively. He played the last eight minutes of the fourth quarter. You know, there's David Blatt benched him for a lot of fourth quarters in the regular season, but now you need that rim protector in the postseason. I'm still, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to totally sell on Kevin Love. I think he's going to be fine. Struggled tonight, hit his first three. I don't think he made another one after that. Uh, it's an adjustment period for him. He, he almost fell into foul trouble the other night. He could have picked up his third foul on a charge, and he didn't. And, and tonight he did pick, pick up his second foul early. I think it threw him out of his rhythm a little bit. We'll see. We're moving on to Boston. Uh, game three is Thursday night. Check us out then. Here we go. On to Boston.